We are continuing to follow a breaking story from the United States. The Canadian Army Reservist, accused of recruiting for a violent neo-Nazi terrorist group, has been arrested. Patrick Matthews had been missing since allegations first surfaced in August. Mira Baines joins us now with the latest. Mira? A statement from the U.S. Department of Justice confirms that uh, earlier today that Patrick Matthews was arrested along with two other men who are from Maryland. So he is a Canadian, a former military reservist, and uh, he was taken into custody in Delaware. And he was uh, someone that the FBI believes entered the U.S. to commit violent crimes. The 27-year-old is facing charges, including transporting a firearm and ammunition with intent to commit a felony offense, possession of a firearm and ammunition. He faces a maximum of 10 years in federal prison. Now that document from the U.S. Department of Justice indicates that three men, including Matthews, are member of an active neo-Nazi white supremacist group called The Base. Law enforcement officials say that these men had weapons and they had planned to travel to a pro-gun rally and show in uh, Richmond, Virginia next Monday. And that's in an anticipation of what they were expecting to be was a race war. The men are being held in custody, and these arrests come after a lengthy investigation. The New York Times is reporting that uh, Matthews was considered the main recruiter for this group called the base. He's been trained as a combat engineer with the Canadian military and has also received extensive explosives training. But he was dismissed by the Canadian military last year when some, some of these allegations arose. So what's been the fallout in the United States? Well, the governor of Virginia has declared a state of emergency, and uh, that's ahead of that pro-gun rally that's to take place in Richmond, Virginia. I want you to take a listen to what he had to say. No weapons will be allowed on the Capitol grounds. We have received credible intelligence from our law enforcement agencies that there are groups with malicious plans for the rally that is planned for Monday. This includes out-of-state militia groups and hate groups. That uh, pro-gun rally was to protest uh, gun measures, gun control measures that are going to be coming in in the state of Virginia. And we understand that state of emergency will take place uh, from Friday afternoon to Tuesday afternoon. Matthews has already appeared in court, and we understand that a hearing is going to take place next week.